Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Most people who use Power Query to import data into Excel get to the final step and click load. But did you know that with a couple of extra clicks, you can uncover a whole array of extra options? There's also a gotcha to watch out for. All will be revealed in this video. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo files from the link in the description below. So here I have some HR data in a CSV file and I need to import it into an Excel file that I've already set up called HR report. The HR report file has two sheets. The data sheet will store the imported data and the dashboard sheet, which is currently blank, will eventually have charts and pivot tables which will be based on the data in the data sheet. So I'm going to bring that data in by clicking data from text or CSV. Go and find the CSV file and click load. And what Excel does is it brings that data in, but it brings it into a new worksheet and it names that new worksheet based on the name of the CSV file. But what if I wanted to load the data into an existing worksheet? Well, this is where another option called load to comes in. This time I'm going to import that data again, but I'm going to use load to to load the data into the data sheet. So I'll click on data from text or CSV, go and find the CSV file and click the arrow next to the load button and select load to. And this opens up a world of options. I'm going to choose existing worksheet and then I'm going to select the cell that I want to bring the data into. I'm going to choose A3 on the data sheet and click OK. And now we have the data loaded in starting at A3 on the data sheet. Another reason to use load to instead of load is if you want to load the data into the data model. Now, a full discussion of the data model and its benefits is beyond the scope of this video, but basically it's a place inside an Excel file hidden away behind the scenes, which is used to store tabular data, which can then be used to create pivot tables and so on. There are a number of benefits of storing data in the data model rather than the worksheet cells. But as I say, that's a discussion for another day. So I'll click on data from text or CSV, go and find the CSV file, click the arrow next to load and select load to. And tick the box that says add this data to the data model. Now the default in the options at the top of the dialog box is table. And what that means is that it will bring the data into the worksheet, in this case, a new worksheet as a table. Now I don't want that. I don't want the data in the worksheet and the data model. So I'm going to change that setting to only create connection. So a combination of only create connection and add this data to the data model will load the data from the CSV file into the data model only. So it's loaded the data in, it's not put it in the spreadsheet, hence you can't see it. But if I click on data, manage data model, that will open up the power pivot window and display the contents of the data model. Now here I have an Excel file with two data sets and I want to import both data sets into my report file. So I've reopened the HR report file and I'll click data, but this time I want to bring the data in from an Excel file. So I click get data from file from Excel workbook. Go and find the Excel file, click import. Now, rather than doing this data get data twice, once for employees and once for salaries, I have an option to select multiple items. And if I tick that box, I then get tick boxes against all the sheet names from that Excel file. So I'll select both of them. You only see that select multiple items option with certain data sources. It wasn't there when I imported from the CSV. Now, let's say 
that for whatever reason, I want to import both of these data sets into new worksheets rather than the data model. Based on what I said before, if I want to bring data into new worksheets, I just click the load button. OK, so where's the data? It's not added any new worksheets. It's not put the data into the existing worksheets. Has it not worked? Well, it turns out that if you tick select multiple items, Excel automatically adds the data to the data model, which is fine if that's where you want it. Let me just go and show you data manage data model. And there's the two data sets, employees and salaries. But what if you don't? What if you want the data in the spreadsheet? Well, let me show you that. So again, I've opened up the report file and I'll go through data, get data from file from workbook, select the Excel file and tick select multiple items and select both data sources. And this time click the drop down arrow next to load and select load two. And this then lets me change the settings. You can see it's defaulted to only create connection and add this to the data model. So if I change it to table and take the tick out of add this to the data model, it'll load the data into the spreadsheet. Because I've selected more than one data source, it won't allow me to choose existing worksheet. The only downside of this is it forces me to put each data set into a new worksheet. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. And now it's created two new sheets, salaries and employees. Finally, let me show you how to change the default settings for importing. With 90% of my data imports, I want the data to be loaded into the data model. So to save me clicking load two and then changing the settings to only create connection and add to data model, I want to be able to click load. So if I go to data, get data and query options, then in the global section, click on data load. I can change the setting in the default query load settings from use standard load settings to specify custom default load settings. And I'm going to only tick load to data model and untick load to worksheet. And what that means now is when the load button is clicked, it will load the data only to the data model. If I ticked load to worksheet as well, then clicking the load button would load the data to the worksheet as well as the data model by default. So if I click OK, I can just show you how that works. I've reopened my report file, my HR report, and I'll go to data from text or CSV. Go and find the CSV file, click on load, which is a single click. And what it should do now is load that data into the data model instead of the worksheet. And I can check by going to data, manage data model, opens up the data model window, and there is the data. Well, I hope that's been useful. As always, thank you for watching. If you did find the video useful, please give it a like. And if you'd like to stay up to date with what I'm up to, subscribe to the channel and subscribe to my free weekly newsletter at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.